In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw an amniote egg. So the amniota are a clade of vertebrates, which includes mammals, uh, as well as all of the traditional reptiles, which means turtles, tortoises, terrapins in the testudines, as well as snakes and uh, lizards, geckos and owls and the squamata, also um, tuataras, which are in the this tiny little order, Sphenodonta, uh, the crocodilians, crocodilians, which of course includes crocodiles and alligators, and other things like caimans and garials and a few other sundry uh, things, uh, as well as the archosauria, which is mostly all extinct except for the survivors of the archosauria, which are the aves or birds. So archosauria includes dinosaurs as well as some close relatives of dinosaurs that are not actually considered to be part of the dinosaurs um but who cares they're dead some people a lot of people care they're dead but um birds you'll recognize this as a bird egg okay so we're going to start off with sort of an egg shape and this is just sort of your familiar chicken egg shape uh, bird eggs and other uh, amniote eggs come in different shapes, different forms. Uh, we're most used to the chicken egg, of course. It is our kind of archetypical egg. Uh, so we've got an egg with a shell, which in the birds, it's calcified. But in other lineages, uh, like in most of the reptiles, the eggs are not calcified but the outer layer is just made up of keratin so keratin is a big theme in all of the amniotes because uh, hyper producing keratin is just one characteristic that enables amniotes to survive uh, on dry land and not have to rely on water so much for their reproduction and just for respiration and survival uh, so eggs have an airspace for gas exchange. Um, the the e even bird eggs, as calcified as they are, they're still semi permeable to um, gases and um, um, to a lesser extent liquids. They can dry out if if left out for too long, but they're per they're pretty. Pretty solid for the most part. Okay, now in the center of that, we're going to put a circle. You might say, aha, I think I know what that is, but we're gonna get to that. So surrounding the um, this thing here is the albumen, which is, uh, you might recognize as the egg white, which isn't white until we cook it, but that's typically how we see it, is after it's been cooked. Uh, albumen, with an E there, is mostly made up of a protein called albumin, which is M-I-N, um, that is a very easily digestible protein. It can be easily broken down because its function is to get converted from a whole bunch of amino acids into whatever the embryo needs to make biomass grow into whatever that's going to be. Okay, so inside this circle here, we're going to put three kind of lobes. Okay. So this thing here, I know what you wanted to call it, but don't call it that. We're going to call that the chorion. 
And the chorion is a membrane that surrounds uh, the amnion. Inside the amnion, we're going to find our That is our embryo. The embryo grows and develops inside this membrane, the, am the amniotic sac, filled with amniotic fluid, or sometimes this is known as the amniotic cavity inside there, but that's where the embryo is. That's the thing that's growing and developing into the new chicken or, you know, crocodile or bird or whatever. Um, so these other two membranes, have uh, some vascular tissue in there, which is what I'm drawing, some blood vessels. Uh, this one is what you probably thought that whole circle was. That is the yolk within a yolk sac. And the yolk, the function of the yolk is it's another nutritional material that provides the energy um, and biomass that's going to be converted from this tiny little thing into eventually, you know, whatever the, 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 um, that is an embryo of. Uh, yeah, we already have that as an embryo. Okay, this third sec here, this third membrane is called the... Alantois. And the Alantois is the um, storage repository for metabolic wastes. So this embryo isn't going to pee and poop, but it is going to metabolize. And um, while a lot of biomass is being built in there, there are still going to be some waste because entropy just happens. So um, we need an allantois to collect all of that, uh, those metabolic wastes. So it's kind of like the, where all the, the, the pee and the poo, if you will, um, of the embryo is stored. All right, so that is your amnio egg. Even we as mammals have an amnio egg, although a lot of the structures in there have been repurposed for other things um, so that for example, in placental mammals, we can give live birth, but we still have like a tiny little yolk sac, and we definitely have an amnion. Um, even if we don't have a big old albumin or a shell or any of that stuff.